Kate and I have always wanted to go to Big Bend National Park and we're finally here. We're right along the border of Mexico in Texas and this place is absolutely gorgeous. We are gonna spend the next few days camping, hiking, and just relaxing throughout the park. We drove Highway 385 South from Marathon, Texas and stopped at the Big Bend National Park sign to take a photo. The vast desert greeted us as we entered the 800,000 plus acre park, which includes mountains, canyons, and the Rio Grande River. The campground full sign did not surprise us as we pulled up to the entrance fee station. Fortunately, Kate was able to book three nights of camping inside the park by checking for last minute cancellations on reservation.gov. There is a lot to explore and discover at Big Bend National Park, and we were happy to have three full days to see and experience as much as we could. The fossil discovery exhibit was a great starting point to learn about the history of the area and the creatures that lived here, including those that thrived in the marine environment when Western Texas was underwater. My favorite was the dinosaur exhibit and learning about the different predators, including the giant swamp hunter, measuring up to 39 feet long and around 16,000 pounds. Learning about the volcanic landscape of the area gave us a better understanding of the Chisos Mountains as we made our way to Panther Junction Visitor Center. Kate chatted with the rangers and got some tips and information for our three-day trip at Big Bend National Park. With the wide range and elevation throughout the park, we also checked the weather forecast for Rio Grande Village and made note of the five gallon per person per day drinking water limit. As we continued southeast towards Rio Grande Village, we stopped to check out the Dugout Wells exhibit. Along the Desert Nature Trail, we learned about the different prickly pear cactus in the area and the animals that feed on them. The most surprising thing we saw on this trail was the lone palm tree, not too far from the windmill pumping water from the well. Big Bend National Park was only partially open during our visit, and one of the closures at the park was the Boquillas Crossing Port of Entry, which would allow visitors to cross the Rio Grande River and visit the town of Boquillas, Mexico. Since crossing was not an option, we made our way to Boquillas Canyon Overlook to check out the views and watch the horses cross the river. We parked our truck camper at the Boquillas Canyon Trailhead and changed into more comfortable clothes for the moderate 1.4 mile round trip trail. All right, let's go. According to the sign, Boquillas means little mouths in Spanish. The name may have come from the oval caves scattered along the cliff walls or from the numerous springs in the area. The lone turtle perched on the rock was Kate's favorite experience on this trail. There's Mexico. Not a bad hike. Now we have to make it back. Nah, uh, it's the easy part. <laughs> As we made our way to the Rio Grande Village campground, 
we saw three sheep making their way up the hill. We later learned that these are African Barbary sheep that escaped from a big game hunting ranch in Texas and are now taking over the native bighorn sheep territory in the park. On the way to the campground, we drove past the fuel station at the Rio Grande village and noticed they have gas and diesel. Since the campground was reservation only, we pulled into our designated campsite and got set up for the rest of the day. With the temperature in the low 80s and the sun shining, Kate made us each a cup of green tea and we enjoyed reading our books and relaxing outside while watching the beautiful bird that was hanging out on the tree branches around our campsite. About 30 minutes before sunset, we made our way to the nature trail at the campground to watch the sunset from the top of the overlook. The next morning, we woke up early to the sound of generators running at the campground. There is a no generator zone at this campground, but those sites were all booked when we made our reservation. Kate went for a morning walk and spotted a great blue heron at the start of the nature trail. After packing up camp, we made our way to Old Ore Road, a well-known unpaved and unmaintained road in Big Bend National Park. The sign at the start of the road did say four-wheel drive required and given the length of our drive, I stopped at the parking area to air down the tires. Old Ore Road is 26 miles long with the southern end near Rio Grande Village, which is where we started. There are several primitive campsites along this road and we look forward to camping out here the next time we visit the park and drive the entire length of the road. For this trip, we took the seven and a half miles to Ernst Tanaha, which took us about 45 minutes to arrive at the trailhead parking lot. That was a fun drive. It was. I'm very happy we are down. You ready to go walk? I am. Let's go check out the trail. The trail was short but fun and scenic. We took our time exploring the area before making the drive back. While it was only a 15 mile round trip, it was worth airing down the tires and airing back up before getting on the paved road towards Chisos Basin. The road to Chisos Basin was under construction during our visit and delays were expected Monday through Saturday. We planned around the road closures and arrived after construction hours to avoid the delays. We read that trailers over 20 feet and RVs over 24 feet are not recommended on this road. And it was easy to understand why after some of the hairpin turns on the road to the Chisos Basin campground. We kind of dodged a bullet some of those sites were uh, like that. <laughs> I mean, this one is still off level, but not tea bag. The first thing Kate did after we got to camp was set up our indoor shower. After the trails we hiked, a nice hot shower was in order. After dinner, we went for a walk around the campground to scope out the best sights and enjoy the views. The next morning, Kate convinced me to go for a walk to the Chisos Basin store and the start of several trails in the area. The short paved window view trail was a great way to start the day and we were able to get LTE Verizon service, so we sat at the bench and called our parents before walking back to the campground. When we got back to our camper, there was a nice note from a couple we'd met on the trail.
Kate put out our awning and attached our dragonfly tarp extension so we could enjoy sitting outside with some shade and I finally got to enjoy my first cup of coffee for the day. Are you really going on another hike? I am. All right. I feel like moving the body a little bit. <laughs> well, I'm going to stay back and hold down the fort. Wish me luck. Enjoy your hike. Be safe. You have the Garmin? Got it. Perfect. The Window View Trail is 3.6 miles round trip from the campground. According to Kate, it was a highly trafficked trail with beautiful views along the way. Even though I didn't go on the hike, Kate gave me a play-by-play -play recap of all the fun sections of the trail, including the series of steps before reaching the window view. When Kate got back, I made us a noodle stir-fry for dinner and we called it a night. The next morning, we got on the road before 7.30 in order to avoid the road closure starting at 8. It was well worth it to enjoy the sunrise views on our drive out of the Chisos Basin. After making it past the construction zone, we pulled over so I could make a cup of coffee for the hour plus drive to the Santa Elena Canyon before leaving Big Bend National Park. While we missed the road construction at Chisos Basin, we did run into a bit of morning traffic near the Santa Elena Canyon Overlook. According to the interpretive sign, this canyon is 8 miles long and 1,500 feet deep. Although we were driving out of the park, we made time for the Santa Elena Canyon Trail, which ended up being one of our favorite hikes at Big Bend National Park. Oh, this has been an amazing time at Big Bend National Park. Kate and I said we definitely want to come back, spend more time in the park on the west side, and maybe even go for a guided canoe trip. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see more cool content and travel destinations, head over to our website at we'retherussos.com. We'll see you next time. Bye.